All right. Now, um, the last thing I need to do is uh, to, to create these seasonal renderings. I, I'm going to use some kind of advanced techniques when it comes to like the autumn colors and and messing with the, the settings in our trees. So, um, so I need to make some copies of all these trees. And so to do that, I'm going to put them in a group and I'm going to copy it up three times. So we're going to have four whole copies of all of our trees. And then I'm going to put each grouping of trees on a layer of winter, spring, summer, and fall. And that way, in each of my seasonal renders, I'm going to use that layer visibility effect to control which trees are on. And that way I can like, you know, really saturate the spring trees or desaturate the winter trees and get the look that I'm going for without disrupting all the different views. All right. So once you've got your, uh, once you've got your uh, landscape and entourage in place, then that's when I would do this part. All right. So let's get to that. All right, so uh, to, to get all of these trees on the proper layer, I'm going to first select a tree with my select tool. And then I can go over here and say, uh, let's see, we'll do select all objects in category. So we can click there and select all of our objects in the category. That way we grabbed all of our trees and then we can add our current selection to a group like that. All right, and that group, let's see, that went on to the layer all seasons okay so here's my group right there and this it, it moved it to the current layer okay so let me see and then let me just double check something our summer layer yep yeah, we're good there okay so that moved to my current layer of all seasons and now I'm gonna move this group back to my layer called summer all right so that that group is controlled by the layer summer all right now what I'm going to do is make a copy of that group and I'm going to use the move up tool, but we're going to use like the height tool. All right. And I'm going to hold alt and I'm going to make a copy of this group straight up and then hold alt, make a copy of it straight up like that. And then hold alt and make a copy of it straight up. So we're moving these straight up in the sky and then I'm going to do uh, summer, spring, winter, and fall. All right. So back to my select tool. Uh, we've got this group is on our layer summer. I'm sorry, they're all on the layer summer. This group will be on fall like that. And then this group will move it over here to winter like that. And then this group will go to spring. All right. And let's just double check our layering. All right. So I'm going to turn um, here's winter and then here's spring and then here's summer and then here's fall. Okay, so everything is, is uh, perfectly layered. So we can turn all of these layers back on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these objects back into place. And if I select this first group that I made, take note that my type in setting, the Y dimension or the Y input is at zero. So all I need to do to drop each one of these groups back in place is just put them back to zero. All right, and now they're all sitting right back where they're supposed to be like that. All right, now let's, let's just go through our layering one more time. We'll turn everything off and take a look because now you know we have all these duplicates. So you've got winter and then you've got spring and summer and fall, just like that. All right, but I'm gonna leave on summer, okay? So summer, the summer layer is turned on and our all seasons layer is turned on. And so that's going to lead us into creating our first seasonal render, which is going to be the hazy summer. All right. So in this next portion of the webinar, we're going to do uh, we're going to build some with effects. Um, we're going to create a base effect stack. Now, this is a little bit different than what I've done in the past is I'm going to just take all the effects that I use every time and create like a base effect stack. And then I'm going to tweak it for each winter, spring, summer and fall. So the first thing I'm going to do is load up all the effects that I know I'm going to use on each one. And I might tweak the ones that I know that I need to tweak for all of them, but I'm not going to make it into a seasonal render yet because I want to have this like fresh start, this base effect stack that I can just load up without having to add all those effects every time. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so now in uh, photo mode, I'll go over here to photo mode and click on my camera view again. and. Um, Let's see, uh, sorry, let me go to build and I'll just turn on my imports. That way we're, we're in good shape. All right, and we are gonna mess with our layering too. 
Okay, so we're gonna add all the effects. I'm gonna move kind of quick through this one. So we'll just add an effect. I can tell you that the first effect that we always add is a real sky. That is what sets the mood. And then I would probably adjust my heading uh, just to get it to look, you know, kind of where I want it to be there. All right, so that's cool. Uh, we won't go too far into any of these. So if I add a real sky, then I know that I need to have skylight. We want that one turned on. Uh, let's add another one. Uh, we're gonna go with shadow. Uh, these are going to be exterior shadows. I always dial Omni Shadow all the way up, no matter what, and I always turn on my soft shadows because look at this. I mean, here's like the hard shadows, here's the soft shadows. I mean, that is outstanding how much better that looks. And then fine detail shadows, I always want those turned on in all of my renderings too. Uh, I might tweak the brightness, you know, sometimes the shadows get a little bit dark, but that's pretty much what I do for every single render, whether it's uh, regardless of the season. All right. We definitely need reflections. Uh, the preview quality, I, I would I would usually set that to low. All right, but let's let's just take a look at reflections real quick. Again, these are all the effects that I know I'm going to need in every single um, in, in every single uh, uh, image that I render. All right, so check this out. Here's the need for reflections. When I when I go by here, uh, you can see that like you know the the sun and and the reflections are just not exactly perfect, right? So like as I go through here, I'm not seeing everything reflecting the way it should be. Uh, but if I hit edit and then add a reflection plane, I can I can specify that on this glass surface, anything that's like in line or coplanar with that glass surface is going to get a perfect reflection. So we'll do one there and then we'll do one, let's see, let's go over here and uh, and we'll add a reflection to our ground here and add one there because I know we're going to need some reflectivity there. All right, so now check this out. When I go through here, you can see I'm getting those nice clean reflections. So uh, let me do high quality just for the preview. All right, but we'll go uh, speed ray on always and I always keep my, my preview quality low. All right, so uh, you'll, you'll really start to bog down like when you're working fast and you know that a setting is supposed to be a certain way, uh, you don't need to always preview it. So global, global illumination is a tricky one. You gotta turn the, the preview quality way down there. And then also your reflections, that will bog you down severely. So make sure your preview quality is low there too. All right, so we'll go back to our view here. Um, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna name this one. I'll call this one Summer, like that. And uh, we'll, we'll go back to our effect stack. So we've got our reflections in there. Um, skylight, hyperlight, we're all good there. On camera, I'm gonna go, I always do two point perspective. Uh, that's gonna give, you know, kind of adjust that um, distortion. Uh, we'll add another effect. I go with handheld camera and I tend to just dial up the film age. So see how it gives that vignette around the corners? I don't want that much, but just enough to see it. So again, on all these sliders, a little bit goes a long way. And along with that uh, handheld camera, I get my focal length. I'm gonna change that to be 35. And now we're right back where we were. All right, let's keep adding effects to our base effects stack. We need lens flare. That one always happens, but we're gonna have different settings on each of our seasonal renders. So I'm not gonna mess with those. And uh, scene and animation. This one is real important. We need layer visibility, all right? So like here you can see that the layer visibility came in with the uh, defaults that are showing in build mode. So you can turn off summer, uh, you know, you can turn off summer, turn on fall, and um, maybe I'll just kind of load it up like this so that we, we, need, we know to adjust it every single time, all right? So what we're gonna want on in every single seasonal render that we do is going to be imports and all seasons. So I think we're good there. Let's keep rolling through and build that base effect stack. We've got our layer visibility. You can see that it tells you when it's already in use. Uh, weather and climate, uh, we did our real skies. We will be using some precipitation and autumn colors, but these are not effects that we use every time. Outlines, I think these are really cool. We've really picked up on outlines lately. And so what I do with that is I turn the transparency all the way up and then knock the outline density pretty far down, maybe 0.4. And you can see there, you just get these nice kind of uh, uh, artistic effect. I like them. I think it just takes the edge off. You know, it's it's not quite as photo real, but it's, it's somewhere in between. 
and then we'll go to our effects and then I do like to add noise. Um, the intensity, you definitely don't want it max power. You really just want it enough to kind of see that it's happening and in my opinion, it looks cool. Um, we'll do that. And the last one would be color correction and we're good to go. And so each one of these effects that I've added, they're, they're gonna have, they're, they're gonna be tweaked, but we want this base effect stack. So you can see here on my screen, we've got at the left hand side, uh, from bottom up, you know, that's how they stack in order. And we also have a second page here of real skies, all right? So I'm gonna save this. I'll click on this menu and go to file and choose save effects. And I'm gonna call this one, uh, you can see that I've been working in here already and kind of goofing around. I'll just get rid of some of these. I'm gonna call this one BD underscore base effects, like that. So this way, it's kind of a default setting so that every time that I start a new seasonal rendering, I have things all set up the way I want it. And then I can just start moving moving the, the uh, sliders and pulling the levers to make it look like that seasonal render, whether it's um, the hazy, warm summer day or that cool, crisp fall day um, or that dreary winter evening. So that's the idea here. So um, we've got the base effect stack in place. We've saved it. And so now let's start tweaking this and making that hazy summer effect.